स्टील लेजेंड रियल स्टील ट्रू लेजेंड Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. Today's episode, we're going to look at the all-new Intel Z890 socket. The first motherboard we have to look at is from Srock. This is the Srock Z890 Steel Legend Wi-Fi. Z890 is Intel's latest platform that has a socket pin configuration of 1851. This is a bit different compared to its previous generation where it was 1700. What else is new with Z890? You may ask. Some motherboards in Z890 have Wi-Fi 7, have more PCIe lanes to accommodate more features in the motherboard, and lastly, USB 4 connectivity. Moving on with this, this motherboard allows you to put any CPU from Intel's latest Core Ultra series of processors. You've got the Core Ultra 5, you've got the Core Ultra 7, you've got the Core Ultra 9, and it all fits in this. You cannot use any processor from the LGA 1700 series. Okay, let's not waste much time. Let's unbox this, and let's see what's new and what's interesting with this motherboard. So it's a fairly simple box. It's pretty much similar to what we've seen before this. It's the first time I'm opening this. Let's see how it is. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where the antenna is. I would have loved to see better antennas than this. Ooh, motherboard is quite heavy. So these are the accessories the motherboard comes with. We've got cable ties. This is a probe sensor, sensor probe, SATA cables, and everything else that we do not need inside. But Asrock has included a very nice gift. I've seen this before, and this is a Steel Legend keycap. It's nice. It's a Steel Legend keycap. I don't know why, but this motherboard feels like it's bigger than normal. Anyways, let's open and see how is it. Ooh. Looks good. I like the color signs, the color theme profiles. Ooh, most important. There have been cases where the motherboards we receive where the pins are bent. All this looks intact and good, nice. So, guys, you've seen the accessories that the motherboard comes with. They're fairly simple and common as to previous generations. Now, let's take a look at the motherboard itself. So, first things first, VRM configuration. This motherboard has a 32 phase VRM configuration. It comes with 80 amp smart power stages. You've got this extremely beefy heat sinks from Asrock. I actually like the design of the heat sinks. It reminds me kind of the steps that you can find in the pyramid or Giza. Nice, interesting aesthetic feature of it. And then I also like how it's silver in color here. And then here, I think there will be RGB shining through. So not too bad. Then you've got the common configuration of four DIMM slots, power slots, USB Type C, RGB headers, PWM headers, and whatnot everywhere here. And then let's move off to this M.2 slots. You've got one, two, three, four, and five. This is your Wi-Fi chip. You've got Wi-Fi seven on this motherboard. You've got PCIe Gen 4, PCIe Gen 4, PCIe Gen 4 M.2 connectors here. Blazing M.2 is Srock's PCIe Gen 5 connector. How do you access these ports? It's very simple. All you have to do is just move this to your left and pop and pull. Pop and pull, it comes off. Over here, you've got to move it to your right. Move it to your right. Pop. 
and pull and it comes off so PCI Gen 5, PCI Gen 4, PCI Gen 4, PCI Gen 4 another nifty feature that you can actually see on this motherboard you would have actually seen it on other motherboards but over here it's standing out because of the color of it if you actually look there is a silver aluminium plating backing for M.2 Gen 5s this is because PCI Gen 5 M.2s churn out a lot of heat so having that there also acts as a insulator for heat dissipation coming back to the common configurations we've seen the four dim slots ASRock says that you can actually achieve speeds of up to 9466 MHz on their memories this is of course with memory overclocking features I've already told you about PCI Gen sorry told you about Wi-Fi 7 now let's move off to the back to actually see two standout features of this motherboard first things first you've got USB 4 here USB 4 in the form of type C's these two ports gives you speeds of up to 40 gigabytes per second the second feature that I would like to talk about at the back here is this IO armor if you actually see that the IO shield at the back is movable there is a certain tolerance to it whereby it's it's you can actually move it up down left right forward backward and everything because certain casings have certain limitations so you can actually adjust this to fit your casings as for graphic card slots you've got one two and three okay some of you will not use this for graphic cards but there are people who actually use this that we can talk about that on another day so this is PCI Gen 5 this is PCI Gen 4 and this is PCI Gen 4 so this motherboard the PCB of the motherboard has two ounces of copper inner layers to help with heat dissipation and also with overclocking so I guess that's all there is aesthetically and functionality to this motherboard if you'd like to know more on how it performs with the all new Intel Core Ultra Series processor like subscribe turn on the notification button and wait for that review to be out Thank you guys and see you all in the next one.